Vault Opening Welcome to the Vault <laughs> Hello! What is up you dazzling diamonds and the others? Welcome back to my channel! My name is Linda Kai and this is the Vault Anyway you guys, let's jump straight into this Alright, this video we are going to be talking about once again another misfortunate situation. Now we're talking about Inumrono and her ex or her boyfriend Utapiwe, right? Not so long ago, Inumrono was having some kind of dramas with Utapiwe, but not only Utapiwe, with a friend. What was that guy's name? I forgot. But you guys remember him, the guy that actually got Inumurolong to shut the hell up for some time. And he was blasting her, exposing her, right? He even said that Inumurolong was on Zdagadi type of situation. You know, he was just throwing around accusations. He was calling her names. That wasn't Utapiwe, but I think that that guy was a mutual friend of Inumurolong and Utapiwe. It's so crazy how Ino is now coming out once again to accuse Utapiwe of imbuing her, right? And she has evidence, pictures and a video showing her bruises and all that kind of shit. And so she's claiming that Utapiwe once again imbued her in that hotel. I absolutely do believe her claims. Because it's not the first time that she's mentioning it, right? But the crazy thing is, and why it's so hard to sympathize, I do sympathize with her though. But why I would understand why some people are like, oh, but you know, drama again. Because she's always enthralled in drama. N not only that, after she went through that whole situation with those lives and that guy that was blasting her, um, and Tapio was involved in the mix as well. She then, after people were like, yo, hi, bo. She then came back the next day to say, me and my man are fine. This is nobody's business. Please stay out of our business. And yet today, she's coming out onto the internet. Well, not today. Today for me, but like when you guys see this video, it's not today anymore. Coming out saying that I need justice. Even tagging S-A-P-S. Right? So apparently, allegedly, Utapiwe beat her up at that hotel on that day and she recorded all these things. But the crazy thing is, she said that when security came, he then stopped and then told her to cover up for him so that there's no raras with law enforcement. She then, on the very same night, went out clubbing with him because she says that she was too scared to stay home, not even home, at the hotel with him. I don't know, but in my logical saying mind, mind, I would have gone to a friend's house or gone back home if I was afraid to be around. The, I would be away from the person, not go to a club with the person because I'm afraid to be with the person. To me, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. It's like I would want to get away from the person. Not trying to stay close to the person because they are hurting me. I'm getting away from you because you're hurting me. Even if it means... Because you know that these women go through a lot of trauma. Even if it means I'm trying to protect you, I'd rather protect you from a distance. Right? Because then she comes out to say that even on that very night when she was trying to protect him. And then she went... After he beat her up, then she went to the club with him. When they went back home at the end of the night, he beat her up again. Do you understand what I mean? Why I'm saying that I would rather distance myself from the situation remove myself completely in case it happens again because once you start getting intoxicated and apparently allegedly these people are on more than just alcohol they are on is apparently allegedly so imagine imagine how crazy the situation must have been you are around this person now you're in a club it's dark the flashing lights Plus, he's spending his money. He's like, well, I hate this bitch. I want to kill this bitch. And he's spending his money on you. And he's getting drunk. And possibly even. Oh, you know what I mean? He's going to do something to you at the end of the night. 
It's either Udo Trisha or Yorkshire food. But she went. Doesn't, doesn't make sense though. I'm afraid to be around this man. But I will go out with him to the club. So that, because I'm afraid of him. And so that he doesn't do it again. I'm getting intoxicated. That just sounds like a recipe for disaster to me. It really absolutely does. It couldn't go off. You know what I mean? And we all know that Uino does come onto the lives to get revenge on people. You get her, she gonna get you back. And she gonna get you on her public platform. So what's the problem now? This time around. There are some women that go back to their abusive men because of financial reasons, because they're scared of what the person's going to do to their families. Because maybe they even truly... I don't know why people go back to abusers. And I think I told you before, my mom was abused by my dad. And after a long time, she got, she, she got the courage to leave him. And she never looked back. And my mom is not a hateful person. She doesn't hate him. But damn, she wouldn't even want to be caught in a room in a room with that man. Because of what he did. Because if you think about it, if I think about it, and I was in most of those situations, I saw what happened. I hate EGBV. So I'm coming out today saying that even in a more long, even if we don't understand the situation. I'll never say to a woman that says, I've been beaten up, I need justice, help me. I can't ever say, because you're shitty online. For like, I'm just always like, okay, I will listen. How can we help you? You know? I've lived it. It's never been done to me, physically. But I've lived it. I saw it. I, and I know the scars that it left in me. And I know the scars that it left in my mom and my sister. I know. I remember nights running in the street. Running away from my father. And then the next day, he would come and find us. And now we have to go back home. And everything is all hunkadori. And then it happens all over again. And again. It's not. Oh, it's not right. It's not right. I'm just glad my mom was able to get out with her life. But um, I'm so sorry, you know, wherever you are, that you have to go through this. And the fact that Ino Mugalong is now coming out once again to talk about the situation. And she's asking for help and she's asking for justice. It's very sad. You can tell that she's going through something. Recently, she did another live where she was on the kitchen floor with her little dog. And she was absolutely wasted and just talking into the camera. You know what? Now, internet people are... Sometimes you're sitting at home and you're envious of the internet people's lives. But they are some of the most fucked up, lonely people in the world. They really are. Traumatized people. So I really do feel sorry for it. It kind of makes you think, oh, all of these outbursts and getting back at people. It's a lot. I don't think this is the first abusive relationship she's been in. Or tra traumatic situation that she's been in. She lives a lifestyle in the nightlife lifestyle. You know what I mean? Things happen out there. It was safer when, in my time, when I was still going out back then. Now I don't go out anymore. I don't do that stuff no more. It was safer. We used to go to Melville, Santa, and to, oh, but it's never been safe. Things have changed. We used to walk around in Melville at 2 a.m., walking back from 7th, going to Rez as a group or whatever. Sometimes not even a group, four of ladies. But we were safe. Now, don't even try to do that shit. You won't make it back to Rez. You won't make it back home. It's rough. Times have changed. Right, I digress once again. But yeah, I just want to say sorry to Ino Mugolong and I hope that she is going to get the justice that she seeks and I hope that she won't go back to him because she did before. She said that he would expect her to look good on her own dime every single day as a must. Buy the groceries, cook the groceries. I mean, it's one thing if a man buys the groceries and then you make the food, you make him that meal. Everybody has a role to play. Men and women need each other. But when it's just one-sided completely, then it's unfair and it's just wrong. 
We need to balance each other out. And that's why we are here. We have roles to play. And I think that's something that frustrated her. And another thing is Inu Mugolong doesn't live with her child. Her girl child. That's another thing I, I know for a fact. I, I, I can only imagine. Mothers that don't live with their children because of circumstances. She's trying to make a life of herself. Whether we can agree or not that her lifestyle is not favorable. But it's tough for a mother not to be with their child. I'm seven days and she's sending money back home. But she's not with your child. In a way. You don't. Because once you have a child, trust and believe, you are forced to grow up now. Right? So yeah, all the well wishes to Inamogolong and I really do hope that she gets the justice that she is seeking and I hope that she will stay away from the man that she is accusing of abusing her. Oh, I was saying to you guys that that guy that she was fighting with, I don't know if I said this, I can't remember now, in the beginning of the video, I saw a live of him and his other friends. I think there was like Nigerian guys and there was nice girls and everything, but they were busy waving around a Glock. Like it was a normal thing. It's one thing if you have a Glock in your house for protection. But when you take it out on an Instagram live to flash and flaunt and be busy, you know, but be easy. It's like, what kind of circles is Inu Morolong really in? These people seem dangerous. Because if you are in a situation or an environment where people are getting intoxicated, and then it is said that these people do do is dagamiso and then there's a clock in the room. It only takes one argument for someone to pull out that if you're flexing with your clock on Instagram live, it takes one argument for you to show your might because you have a clock and do something stupid. I mean, we can all go back to Sinzu Mayua's case. It's weird, right? I wish you all the best of luck. And if you guys haven't already, please do like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And if you guys do enjoy my videos, please do click on the thank you button. And baby, baby, <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye.